hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a camera review of the Oppo A3s. On the rear, this phone has a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing along with a single LED flash and on the front, it is an 8 megapixel single camera. Now these are some sample shots. This phone supports Auto HDR, so all these pictures were taken with Auto HDR. While taking HDR pictures, capturing speeds are good, even the dynamic range looks pretty good, but the images are pretty soft, colors look slightly saturated. For regular pictures, capturing speeds were good and colors were also pretty close to accurate colors. On the whole, it does take some pretty good images. Now these are some shots taken specifically with HDR on. Images look good, but once again they lack sharpness. Now coming to the portrait mode, most of the time edge detection is pretty good, as good as Mi A1 or the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Even in terms of exposure control, color reproduction and dynamic range, these portrait shots look really good. Now coming to low light performance, it overexposes the shot to make it look bright, so colors look slightly faded but still look pretty good. Like any other phone, images are soft when zoomed in, but for the price, they are pretty sharp and this phone does a pretty good job. Now coming to selfies, these are the sample pictures. Most of these selfies were taken in very harsh lighting conditions, but still, A3S has taken pretty good selfies. In good lighting conditions, it takes even better selfies. Even the capturing speeds and exposure control was pretty good. Now coming to portrait selfies, here are the sample pictures. Just like the regular selfies, even portrait selfies look pretty good, with a nice blur effect. Edge detection works most of the time, but sometimes it misses, especially near my head. Now coming to low light performance, selfies come out to be bright with good exposure control and good color reproduction. Even in terms of sharpness, they look pretty good. I just wish Oppo could tone down a bit on exposure to get a more natural skin tone. Anyway, going to the video section, here's a sample footage recorded using the red camera at 1080p resolution which happens to be the maximum resolution supported by this phone. There is no optical stabilization or electronic stabilization, so the footage is pretty shaky and it looks pretty horrible. Besides the stabilization itself, colors are the warmer side but the color reproduction is pretty good. So if you have stable hands, you might be able to take better footage. So guys, this is a sample footage recorded using the rear camera of the Oppo A3s in low lighting indoor conditions at 1080p resolution. By the way, audio is from the phone itself, so check out the nice cancellation and stabilization offered by the phone in indoor conditions. Now right now, it seems to be having an issue with focusing. Okay, now it's focused. In low lighting conditions, it has good color reproduction but there is a lot of shift in exposure, so that's a bit annoying. Now for the front camera, here's a sample footage. So guys, this is a sample footage recorded using the front facing camera of the Oppo A3s at 1080p resolution and you can check out the noise cancellation and the stabilization offered by the phone. So I'm just gonna move around right now, so check out how the color balance or the white balance changes depending upon lighting conditions. Just like selfies, footage is a bit overexposed to make the subject look fair. Footage looks pretty good. It has good color reproduction and good exposure control. Just like with the rear camera, we can only record video at a maximum of 1080p and there is no stabilization for the front camera either. On the whole, it does a pretty decent job. 
So guys, this is the footage recorded using the front-facing camera of the Oppo A3s in low lighting indoor conditions at 1080p resolution, audio is from the phone itself, so check out the nice cancellation and stabilization offered by the phone. So I'm just going to move around, so check out the nice cancellation. So I'm just talking something so you can see the nice cancellation offered by the phone. Anyway, I'll just be moving around, so just check out the exposure control and brightness levels of the entire footage. Even in low lighting conditions, footage is a bit overexposed and the subject looks too bright in a weird way. On the whole, it does a pretty good job, but in low lighting conditions, footage doesn't look all that natural. Now this is the portrait orientation and this is how the footage looks, maybe in a video call if you do it like this. So once again, I'll be rotating, moving around. So check out the brightness levels and exposure control. So guys, to conclude, cameras on this phone are pretty good. Especially for the base price of just 11,000 rupees as a retail phone, it takes pretty good selfies and good portrait shots with the front and rear cameras. So if you're looking to buy a phone in the retail stores with a display notch and good cameras, then you can definitely consider this phone. And this phone also happens to be the cheapest phone with a display notch under 15,000 rupees. So guys, looking at the sample pictures and the sample footage, what do you think about the camera performance of this phone? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description, it really helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off, have a nice day.